How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Gravon, and welcome back once again to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. This is part four, and in the last episode, we entered the cathedral, which actually is a front for a bunch of uh, evil dudes, like these guys right here, these Diablos. And basically, we're trying to find the real Queen Lean because Marl actually disappeared. Um, because we, uh, everybody saved Marl thinking it was Queen Lean, which means they called off the search for the actual Queen Lean, which means if these monsters in here kill Queen Lean, the bloodline will get destroyed, and basically, Back to the Future will happen, and Marl will disappear forever, as well as, uh, all the other people that are in that bloodline. So we need to find the real Queen Lean and save the bloodline. That's our current goal right now. And, uh, Frog here has joined the party, so now we have a full party. Everybody's leveling up. We have a bunch of dual techs and actual normal techs and stuff, and it's just, it's just a great time. We're having a great time together. Let's go ahead and go into this door right here and see what's in here. Ooh, three chests that look to be free. One maiden suit, one tonic, and one ether. I'll just go ahead and leave now. Oh. Oh, that's right. Okay. There's a fight. I'm not stupid, but what you have to do is you have to activate this. Found the secret naga at bromide. I never knew what bromide was, and I still don't. I'm going to have to look that up after this episode. Hey, everyone. Humans. They're after the bromide. Yeah, I already got it, though. <clears throat> and now you guys are all going to die. Let's go ahead and use some techs here. Uh, Chrono and Frog got a dual tech, and now we can use it right here. And it's called X-Strike. But the thing is, it only affects one, so it's kind of stupid to use it here, but I'll use it anyways, because you know what? Why not? And we also got Flame Toss. If this guy doesn't die, oh, he dies. Okay. We'll use Flame Toss on this, because we haven't seen that yet, either. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Good job, Luca. And now, this guy's like, holy shit, what have I gotten myself into? Let's go ahead and kill him pretty quickly. Luckily, Henches only have 49 HP, so they should die right after this. Goodbye. Okay, anybody leveled up or anything? Nope, but what we do need to do is go into our menu here, go into items, and use a tonic. Uh, you could use one, you could use one, and, uh, yeah, why not? Let's just get everybody up to full health, I guess. Um, we will see eventually that there's going to be, like, save points, and you can use, um, shelters there, which completely restores everyone's HP and MP. So that was kind of not smart to do, but whatever. Alright, now I momentarily forgot that we actually did get a maiden suit, so let's go into... Whoops. Let's go into equipment and go to Luca because, as it sounds, only women can equip the maiden suit. And you'll also notice in the top right, Luca has the ability of fire, which I didn't check out yet, and Frog has the ability of water. And if you're thinking, but so does Marl. No, I, she has ice, I believe it says. Um, okay, so, even though water and ice are obviously closely related. Stop, intruders, Gak! Alright, that takes care of them. Let's go ahead and keep heading forward. Not really anything else we can do. Oh, you see that chest on the left there? I missed it, but I will get it. Alright, let's use the combo here. There we go. Let's use Fire Whirl and hit as many as we can. And Frog, you can go ahead and use... Uh, let's go with Slurp Cut since we haven't seen that one as well. But obviously, this being a SNES game, they reuse a lot of the assets. Look at that damage! Tons of damage. Alright, Slurp Cut. He slurps him in and he cuts him. Who could have seen that one coming? Not me, that's for sure. Alright, Nasher, you are dead, my friend. Peace! Anybody leveled up? Come on, I know you want to. There we go. Alright. Let's go ahead and head up there and get that chest. I don't know how I missed that. Usually I search pretty much everything. Did we not go? Oh, we probably didn't even... Yeah, and there's another door there, too. I don't know how that happened. One Steel Saber. So there we go. I was telling you guys that you do get upgrades in the wild, usually. Uh, so let's go into this, this, and you kind of have to think what, who, because, um, Steel Saber can only be equipped by one person in your party. You gotta think that since Chrono uses, like, sabers and katanas and stuff like that, it's gonna be that. Whereas, Frog uses, like, bronze, or, uh, broadswords and, and stuff like that, more like medieval weapons. Okay, so, I don't think we can go over there just yet. That's actually gonna be, um, oh, can't, oh, okay, never mind. There we go. So those skull switches do activate the spikes usually. We have two soldiers here and something in this little barrel. Y you're humans? They're hiding the queen in the back. Please rescue her. I fully intend to do so, but what's this? One power tab. There we go. Um, it's also a good idea to spread your power tabs amongst your party evenly, but you kind of have to think who you're going to use for endgame. 
Inside this building, there's room dedicated to Magus. Heard something about a treasure there. Uh, so let's go ahead and use that power tab. Uh, da, 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 da. There you are. And we can use it on Chrono or Frog. I mean, we can use it on Luca too, but it's not good to do that. Let's see. Chrono or Frog. Let's go with Frog. Yeah. We'll just uh, spread them out equally. And for those of you that are paying attention, you probably realize by now that Frog is in your party for a majority of this game. Oh, these guys respawned? Ugh, I don't want to fight them again, though. My rule is, like, if I fought them once, I don't have to fight them again. So you can, as you can see here, you can bypass them. Eh, oh, okay, good. Um, Alright, and this is our first actual real save point of the game. If we activate it, it'll go to this. The queen is gone. What's really cool about this game is it gives you, like, a little phrase for each, basically, for each save point. Race old save, yes. Still the same save point, and it shows your party and where you are. You can see it says the Middle Ages, and this is save number two, and it says, it says how much money we have. Okay. Alright, so let's see. We can go to the right, we can go to the left, or we can go up. Um, oh, we do have a treasure chest over here. One shelter. So that's what I was talking about. So we can actually use that shelter on a save point or on the world map to completely heal our party. But we don't need to use that right now. Um, I think, yes, I was going to say, I think if we go down the stairs, it, it does that. And now we're trapped down here. We can't go back up. And we have this little bat thing here. Bats are not powerful, but the thing about them is that I think you can miss them easily. We're about to see right now. Mad bat and a hench. Yeah, okay. So I know there's rats as well, and I think rats have the same thing. Where Yeah, okay, see? So I missed. That's the first miss of this entire Let's Play so far. But they also have low health, so once you do connect, they're pretty much dead anyways. So this is why you don't get power tabs to Luka and or any, any pretty much any ranged person, because they... Do pretty terrible damage until they start getting some upgrades. Uh, okay. Good. Alright, so let's go in here and see what we can find. Oh, it's like a secret passageway. Um, oh, well, we, ac we actually have to go this way anyways. Alrighty, so we have another skull switch on the door, or next to the door over here, and that, I don't know if you noticed, but deactivated those spikes to the left of us. Um, I don't think... I, I really feel like you can go through, like, some secret passages, but I also don't. So we'll just keep continuing forward. All right, we have a hench here. Yeah, let's go ahead and take this guy. Okay, moving on. Can we go down here? Nope. We do have a note up here. What does that say? Note, no entry. So it looks like this is where we want to go, but we're going to have to find some sort of switch or something to activate it. Two treasure chests with one heal and one tonic. I see you, bat. I see you sitting there on that wall. Okay, this looks like we can go down here, but we can't, I guess. Alright, so where's this back and activate? There we go. Alrighty. So, I believe we've taken out pretty much the majority of all of these dudes. We have another skull switch here, which does what? I guess that, that switch also activated those spikes, so you can pick and choose which switch you want to do. Let's go ahead and clear these bats out. Alright, we're also getting pretty low here, so we have to be careful. Another secret passage that's leading to this guy over here. How's it going, bud? Snooze, sizz... No, stop it. I said that you can't... What are you talking about? Huh? I'll say this. You know what you're doing. Oh, okay. So I think what happens is if you go to the left and uh, then do that, he like calls in his buddies. But if you go all the way around and, and hit him through the back, it's only him. And then he's like, well, I'm dead. <laughs> pretty much. Okay. So I think we've pretty much done everything that we need to do here. Yeah. And, uh, I don't think this door was here first, or maybe... Oh, we were deactivating the spikes, right. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to not only save, but we also want to... Actually, before we do that, we want to go into our menu, go into items. Okay, I keep hitting B by accident. Go into our items, and then use a shelter, which will, as you can see here, completely restore everyone. And the reason for that is because... Well, you guys will see, but let's go ahead and also save. Yes. Okay, there we go. And let's go ahead and go through this door where we've deactivated all of these spikes. Oh, I should have waited. Oh, and I guess I should mention that you guys uh, probably may have noticed by now that although the characters' clothes do don't change no matter what you equip, their weapons do. So originally, Chrono had like a yellow katana, but now he has like a silver one because we equipped that steel saber or whatever it was called. So yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of like how they, they remain the same sprite throughout the whole game, but I also like how they do change the color of the weapon. 
Okay, so Luca learned Hypno Wave. I don't think I like ever use that ability. In here we have one Iron Sword, which means now we can go and uh, give that to Frog, I believe. Yep, the Bronze Edge, replace that with the Iron Sword. Once you play this game enough times, you sort of get a feeling for what weapon goes to who. Let's also activate this organ. Remember when I said that they only use that organ clip for one thing? I was wrong, because obviously we can use it for this as well. And that was the sound of a door opening, and I'm going to go ahead and assume it's the one by that note. Okay, so... Yeah, should have waited to use that shelter. Also going to wait... No, 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 get out of this. Also going to wait to heal up before we uh, go through the final door. Um, let's go this way, I guess. Hopefully all those enemies didn't respawn. Because like I said, you know, once I kill everything, that's pretty much it for me. I don't want to kill it again. Okay, so there is a door here. Um, oh, okay, alright. Let's go ahead and fight these guys. Alright, so Chrono learned a new tech called Slash. Why don't we go ahead and use that in this fight right here? Because I'm not really remembering Slash for some reason. Let's go into combo and Slash attack. Okay. Might just be because... Oh, right, that one, yeah. Oh, that's because they change it in um, the DS version. I believe it's called, like, Wind Slash or something. And that's why I wasn't recognizing it. Alright, Naga Ed, I am done with you and your kind. You guys are like super annoying. You claw at me, you slow down my gauge so I can't kill you fast enough. Just stop. Just stop. Okay. Moving on. Okay, so we have another save point there. That's That was the one that I should have used. Alright, and I mean, it, it's kind of self-explanatory, but pretty much any single time that you see a save point in this game, you definitely, definitely want to save. Because death is usually around the corner. Uh, let's also heal up a, a little bit. Go to items and use, uh, let's see, one tonic on Chrono could use one, Luca could use one, and Frog's pretty good to go. Okay, so let's walk through this door and see what awaits us in here. That's different music. Prepare yourself, Queen Lean. That doesn't sound good. Hey, it's the Chancellor. That's good. You, how did you get in here? Frog. Majesty, stand back and allow the allow us the honor. Now, for anyone confused, that is not Marl, by the way. That is her ancestor, Queen Lean, just to uh, clear that up. Be careful! Yeah, get out of here. Okay. <laughs> what, are we gonna have a boss fight against an old man? Yeah, haha, it's useless to fight, no one will leave here alive. I kinda doubt that. Stupid frog, it's time you jumped off this mortal coil. Yeah, man, they changed a lot of dialogue. I, I, I don't know if they kept that in the DS version, but I don't think they did. True form, change! <laughs> That's kind of an odd way to say it. I guess we haven't seen his final form, though. And there it is. How pretty. How's it going, bud? Reverts to Yakra. Okay. Yeah, this dialogue is definitely different from the DS version. Okay, so we have our first boss fight, right? Yeah, this is our first boss fight. It should be. Uh, let's go ahead and use an X-Strike, see how much that does. 181. That is quite a lot. Too close can't counterattack, and that's Yakra saying that. So that means that if uh, he's close when you do that, he will counterattack. Um, let's go ahead and once you find out what does a lot, no, I don't want to use yours, Luca. Once you find out what does a lot, you really want to use that over and over pretty much. Okay, so that should be a physical attack, so let's see what happens if we use a magic attack. Yeah, and then he does that charging attack that does damage to everybody. How much does that do, Luca? 53, so when it does that low, dro, what does that mean? It was going to do the same thing. Oh, that's probably his counter attack, I guess. Needle spin, Yakra's needle attack. And that does damage to everybody too, I think. Oh, one person. 47. That's quite a lot. Holy shit, we have to heal up now. So let's go into item. Tonic. Use that. And usually when everyone's low, it's a good thing to, like, use a tonic for everybody. Like, basically use their turn to use a tonic uh, on everybody. I feel like I repeated myself, like, 12 times. Okay, so Chrono could still use a tonic, but that's okay. We'll wait for Frog. And then we will use X-Strike once more, because that seems to be doing the best. Also, Luca's obviously the one that's not doing a lot of damage here, so we can use her to, to uh, heal our party members with. Also, you have to keep in mind that Frog does have a healing move, the slurp heal thing. I always thought that move was so weird, though, and I don't want a frog slurping me to give me health. I just don't. Okay. So basically, you just want to use your MP for the best attack. I think I already said that, but yeah, so I'm just going to keep spamming um, X-Strike. Which does quite a bit. Too close can't counter attack. Well, that's good. And also, let's use Luca to heal Chrono. And we'll also use Slash with Chrono. And we'll use Slurp Cut with Frog. Since they weren't, you know, since they didn't have the gauges filled at the same time. 
Yeah, we did it. I think that was the most efficient I've ever killed Yakra. Goodbye. Hasta la vista. See you later. Sayonara. Peace. We did it. Got 50 experience points. Found 600G. No one leveled up, ironically, on the boss fight, but everyone levels up pretty much every other fight. How's it going, Queen Lean? You came to rescue me. Thank you, Frog. Oh, what about me and what about Luca? The king awaits. Let us return to the castle. I agree. Let's get the hell out of here. I thank thee, Chrono, and Luca. I thank you, Frog. Yes, thank you so much. Please join us. Yeah, but Frog, if you could give me back, like, the equipment that I equipped you with, I'm gonna kind of need that to sell. Okay, let's see. And here we have a man. It's the real Chancellor. Pew, thank you. That monster stuffed me in there. Yeah, no problem. Oh, your highness, as you can see, I'm undamaged. Alright, see you later. And in here we have one mid ether, which is obviously just a better version of the normal ether. Any secret doors over here? No? Okay. Let's return to the castle. I agree. Now, are you going to make me walk all the way out or are you going to teleport me directly? You're going to teleport me directly. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. You had me worried, Lean. That no good Yakra impersonating me and kidnapping the queen, we must create a criminal justice system in this kingdom to do away with such fiends. Now remember that. We must create a criminal justice system in this kingdom to do away with such fiends. Remember that. I love this music, by the way. I love all the music in this game, as I've said, but this music specifically I like a lot. I failed to protect Queen Lean. I have to disgrace thee. Frog! Don't do it, Frog. You tried your best. That's all anyone can ask of you. Okay. And now we have control of our character again. Frog's theme music is playing. I love this music so much. I really do. All right, let's talk to the queen once more. Your timing was perfect. Who knows what would have happened had you not saved me? I do. The line would have been diminished and Mara would be erased from history forever. By the way, where's the girl who was mistaken for me? Oh yeah, I forgot about all about Princess Nadia. Chrono, where did Princess Nadia disappear? She may still be there. Luckily, I know. What do you have to say? Thank you, Chrono, but who was that girl we found in the canyon? That was Marl. That no good... Okay, yeah, so you're saying the same thing. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't want to get out of here. We want to go see uh, Marl, and hopefully she's back. I don't know. She disappeared. I don't really know how uh, time travel and, and, you know, people disappearing from timeline works. Timelines work. <laughs> I love that musical that is like, You acquired Marl, huh? What happened? Princess Nadia. Chrono. It was awful. I can't recall it all. I was somewhere cold, dark, and lonely. Is that what it's like to die? I wouldn't know. Never died before. Welcome back, Princess Nadia. Well, I, actually, he has in this <laughs> Let's Play so far. We've died once. You've risked your life to help me too? Princess Nadia? Uh-oh. That's right, we know. The jig is up. You're a secret princess. I guess you guys figured it out, huh? Mm-hmm. Sorry, Chrono. I didn't mean to deceive you. I'm Princess Nadia, my father's King Guardia the 33rd. I really enjoyed being with you at the fair, but if you had known my identity... Chrono, you wouldn't have shown me around the fair, right? WRONG! Oh, Chrono, that's why I like you. The real queen's safe, right? So let's go home, Chrono. I agree. I've had enough with the Middle Ages for now. And I guess, uh, Marl's Lullaby. Oh, no, I was gonna say I guess it's gonna play until we leave here, but it has stopped. Alright, so I think we're pretty much done with the Middle Ages for now. I don't think there's, uh, really anything else that we need to do here. Let's talk to Frog once more. "'Twas a fault of mine which endangered the Queen. I shall depart for good." Eek! This guy's like, man... These bitches. Indeed you resemble indeed, uh, indeed your resemblance to the queen is uncanny. No one gives Frog respect even though he's literally he saved their lives. Chrono, you have the potential to be a good swordsman. Potential? I did like the same damage you did. You did a little bit more. You're a higher level. Don't give me that. Froggy, you weren't such a bad guy either. Yeah, no shit, man. He was like influential in saving us and helping us. Are you kidding me? Luca, give the man some respect. Jeez. Okay, approaching Guardia Castle, no tra Oh, I was like, what in the world's going on? But we just activated the sign. Oh, these guys again. Alright, so now we need to return to our time. And if you guys remember, the only place where we can do that is... Uh, well, I guess where we came through to this time period, right? And that, of course, is in Truce Canyon. What's it called? If it's Truce Canyon, I'm gonna pat myself on the back. Is it? Is it? Is it? Truce Canyon! Pat, pat, pat. Let's go inside. 
and uh, go back to where we spawned here. We're not going to fight these guys because literally they're not going to give us like any... Ex I mean, they are, but it's not going to be influential at all. So we're going to go ahead and buy... Oh, oh, we have a brown version now. If you don't know how old JRPGs work, basically, it's like, okay, so they've leveled up. Now it's time to pallet swap an old enemy. And because they're a different color, now they're uh, more powerful. Oh man, we're pretty low actually. I've gotta be careful not to die here. And this guy's called a Polly now instead of a Roly. Or I guess a Rolly? Okay, stop doing that, please. Can you die? Can you die, please? Like, stop. I just wanna return home. I don't wanna fight you guys. And this guy down here is just making faces. Little does he know he's literally about to be cut in half. Goodbye. Bet you regret that face, don't you? Okay. So, yeah, so you can see here we got one experience point, but. Marl learned Aura, and uh, Chrono and Marl learned Aura Whirl, which is actually an ability that I think I use till endgame, so that's cool. If you have Marl in your party. How do we get home? Your Highness, or er, Princess, we... Oh yeah, that's right, because Luga came in through here, so she knows how to do it, probably. Please call me Marl. Well then, Marl. Observe! What's that you've got in your hand? Wow! Looks like a flower, but apparently it's a key. Luca, you're amazing. Ain't it the truth? I agree, you're amazing, Luca. Good job. Oh, um, I mean... Enough with the false modesty. You have a real gift. I would trade my royal ancestry for your genius in a heartbeat. Well, if you say so. Anyway, I call this thing a gate. It's a kind of portal that takes you to the same location in a different era. Gates are very unstable, so I use the principle behind my telepod device... ...to create a gate key. Now we can use them as we please. Plot device! But why did this gate suddenly appear? Either the telepod had something to do with it, or something else made it. <coughs> Marl's pendant, probably. <coughs> this is getting pretty weird. Let's at least head back to our own time. I agree. Alright, coming, Chrono? No, I'm gonna stay here. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay. Oh, that familiar music. Ha. Huh. Phew, we're back. Chrono, Luca, why don't you come home with me to the castle? I'd like you to come over for dinner. Sorry for putting you through all that, Marl. Are you joking? That's the most fun I've had in months, and I have some new friends, too. Chrono, be a gentleman and take her home. I've got some work to do. Okay. See you soon, Luca. Are you going to join my party? Will you escort me home, Chrono? Yeah, sure, whatever. Okay, and you can see that we can actually use this gate. I don't know if we can without Luca. I, yeah, we can, because I believe the gate key is in our personal inventory. We're going to end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. This uh, Let's Play is about to get super interesting, because the next part is one of my favorite parts in the whole game. Uh, so stay tuned. I promise you it's going to be super cool. Thanks for watching this episode, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.